What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I want to focus in on the Chicago Blackhawks re-signing Ted Bowman to a three-year extension that'll keep him running the Blackhawks through 2021. Kind of a no-brainer, if you ask me. You know, you look at the uh, the Blackhawks organization. That the, they're you know, the kind of sort of the class of the NHL, I guess you'd say. I mean, when you win three Stanley Cups in five years, uh, I think you you earn that distinction. And uh, you know, Bowman's been done a masterful job. You know, with this team, I know you know you make the argument Dale Town put a lot of foundation together, and that's true. But the bottom line is, through all these different salary cap, you know, summers from hell that would you know handicap other franchises. Talent, I mean Bowman. I think of Dale Town. I don't know why. Um, Bowman's always been able to navigate it. You know, get good returns on investments for guys who got to send away because of the cap. Manage the cap perfectly, and uh, you know, always ice competitive team. You know, the the John and the Taves, the, the Patrick Kane's, you know, Duncan Keith, Seabrook, all those guys said the same. But the big players around them change, and uh, I think it's just proven that the Blackhawks, you know, as a team, as a system. Can, as long as they have the, their nucleus, you, know, you can plug in different players there. I mean, that, that's just the way it works. And, you know, it's definitely a uh, an awesome thing to watch. And they, they, they play an outstanding brand of hockey. And Stan Bowman has done a phenomenal, phenomenal job at identifying and acquiring players that fit that system. And that's been a big reason why they've been able to win the, you know, have the success that they've had. You know, win those three Stanley Cups after a, you know, 50 year drought in Chicago. You know, this is a, uh, a team that, you know, every. Every other franchise in the NHL is trying to emulate right now, um, you know, on the ice in the front office, you know, the coaching staff, and you know, having a guy like Stan Bowman be the um, you know steadying hand in the front office, and having uh, Coach QB on the bench, you know, everything else kind of just falls into place. So, again, good, great day for the Blackhawks, keeping your most important, uh, one of your, your more important non-players in the organization for another three years through 2021, and I don't think that'll be the end of his tenure at all. Um, he's been with the Hawks for 15 years, so he's, he saw some bad times, and now he's seen some good times, and I think the good times going to be rolling for a long time in the Windy City. Anyway, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.